Okay, hey huh? guys. I wasn't gonna film today, but then I was like, let me just pull out my camera and film. And by the way, I switched from filming on my phone to my camera. I don't actually know if it's better quality or not, but I kind of really, really hope that it is better quality. Um, I just got done like working out and like stretching and meditating and doing all that because I'm severely depressed. But we don't talk about that, okay? It actually does help. I've been getting a lot better. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I've talked about this before in another video, but I deleted all my social media because I thought that it was going to help me not compare myself to other people, like live in the moment and stop just always like, I don't know, just seeing other people live things that I'd like to be doing. Um, I constantly compared myself to other people. I wasn't very happy. So I don't have Instagram. I don't have Snapchat. I do have TikTok. So does that really help not really but but i am like super addicted to tiktok which is probably the main reason why i should lead it but like i haven't so sue me aside from that i want to start going outside more i guess i don't know it doesn't have to be like with other people but i'm gonna try to just spend as much time outside that's why i did my whole workout outside in my backyard but i want to take my book i'm halfway done with my book um a good girl's guide to murder i heard a lot about it i would say it's good but it's definitely not one of the best books i've read at all um but i'm gonna take that book and then i'm gonna go in the park in my little grassy shady area and i'm gonna sit down i'm gonna read and i'm gonna make it a vibe okay so i just put a jacket over my tank top because i don't want to be in a park alone in a tank top i just don't want to and besides it was kind of cold outside so yeah i'm bringing my tote bag with me so i can have my book and my camera because i bring this thing with me everywhere i try to find any opportunity to take a picture with it i'm literally obsessed with this thing like i'm just obsessed with it and i might bring like a small little snack Hi guys i just wanted to kind of catch up now that i'm here about what happened like 10 minutes ago i just met the most wonderful woman i just had my barbie moment where she sits down and talks to this old woman i her name was patty she introduced me and her dog was named maddie because she wanted matching names she's just the sweetest woman um, she came up to me and i'm gonna cry why am i gonna cry it's not that serious it's not that serious. She came up to me and she was like, hi, sweetie. I'm Patty. This is Maddie. And I was like, oh, hi, guys. And then I asked if I could pet her dog. And I was throwing the ball for her dog. And she was talking to me. She was like, we live in blah, blah, blah. Obviously, I don't want to put information out there. And it was like somewhere around the area. And so I was like, oh, yeah, I live in blah, blah, blah. Like, I didn't say exactly where, obviously. But, you know, like around there. She told me that she was 85 years old and she looked beautiful. Like, I hope to age as well as her. She's just the most beautiful woman energetically, like everything. She had the sweetest voice and she was telling me, oh, what grade are you in? And I told her I had just started college um, and how nervous I am to be in college and alone on my own for the first time. And she told me to just breathe and told me that. And I was like, I am not used to change. I don't like change. And I hope to be, you know, I already hope wishing my life away. And I already hope to be her age with my dog at the park. Just like, you know, having no worries, nothing. She told me that change never goes away, you know. Um, you just have to get comfortable with it. And she said that she actually moved here quite recently from the city, um, which it's really different from the city where um, we are right now. Kind of in the suburbs. <laughs> and she says that she was in the city, like downtown kind of area. And she said that she married this guy here. And um, 
she brought her dog and she's just so happy and he's so wonderful and i could i could tell she's really so happy just by her face uh, some dogs barking i'm so sorry just by her face she just looks so happy and it made me happy to see her so happy and i was like oh wow she was like yeah change doesn't go away um i just moved here you know met a new guy at my age and i'm you know it's never too late and it just made me so happy and we were just talking having a beautiful conversation and she was saying that i need to just breathe she said ground yourself put yourself in the bubble and just say i'm happy i'm safe i'm loved i'm housed i have a family i love my family they love me she was like and then do that before you do anything just remind yourself that you're safe no matter what happens you're never too late i was telling her how i'm always like moving on to the next thing you know like where's my license where's my job where's my well all that college stuff and she was saying that it all comes when it needs to um just take it one day at a time one step at a time it was just the most beautiful conversation i'm just so glad i came here just because i really needed to talk to somebody like her she was like my little guardian angel but um yeah it was just so nice like talking to her and she was telling me that you can teach anybody at any age i was telling her you're so beautiful you age so beautifully like she has wrinkles and white hair but it, it looked so beautiful on her like her wrinkles like they were there for a reason like she's been through so much like life is just going so fast but at the same time my days go so slow but my years go so quickly i'm rarely ever in the present and when i am in the present i'm so anxious about the present i just i feel like i need to really ground myself more you know she was so in the present she was just so present like she did not bring up her past she did not bring up her future she was just happy to be there with her dog like throwing his ball just she was so happy she was just incredibly happy and it just made me so happy i know she's been through as many if not more changes than i have and i know she's been through as many if not more relationships than me i know she's been through as many friendships losses gains successes failures i just know it and through all that she's so content and present and happy and it was just such a nice reminder that you know it really is all okay at the end like, i was so happy to have met her i guess it's proof like right in front of me that it will literally all be fine all this anxiety all this homework all these losses and everything that can cause somebody to be so anxious and depressed you know at the end you just have to stay present you have to stay thankful you have to stay grateful it really all works out if life goes by so fast like why am i spending it so anxious all the time i mean i could be that happy right now i could be it's just so hard yeah i think i'm just gonna read my book now for about 30 more minutes and then i'm gonna go home maybe i might drop by the gas station over there just so i could get a little snack um why not and then i'm gonna shower because i've been i got so dirty and there's so many bugs and i know they're touching me right now but i'm just gonna learn to be accepting of it bye guys mm -hmm.